Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to the final course of the year which is Mystic Rock, Nemecolum Woodlands Resort in Farmington, Pennsylvania. This one was designed by Kurt Hennigan. So as you can see, fairways are normal, greens are normal, green speed is medium slow. We are going to be playing from the black tees, which are 7,714 yards. As always, pin set number one for the camera flyby purposes. And everything's left in the hands of the gods at default. I am really looking forward to playing this course here, guys. Like I say, this will be the final video of 2019. And hole number one is a beautiful looking par four, playing 443 yards, stroke index seven. Clearly looks like the harvest theme to me, but why? Wow, what a beautiful opening hole this is. And what a better way to finish 2019 with playing an RCR, guys. Like I say, designer is Kurt Hennigan. Very mild wind conditions here. Nice opening tee shot. The last two or three courses we played seem to be of an uh, low wind conditions. Very mild. To be fair, it is very mild here in my neck of the woods up here in the north of Scotland for this time of year. It was like 12 degrees yesterday with no wind. But 117 yards into this pin stick, down 7 feet. Just lofting this gap wedge because the greens are normal to soft, I do believe. That is a beautiful strike. That is tracking well. Looks like we're just going to land left of the pin. And look at that. That has left us with about a two to three foot putt for an opening birdie. Fantastic approach shot. Greens are 1-1-9. One, one, wow. I may well struggle with my putting today on the slow, slow greens. But nice start to the round. Hole number two, par four, playing 474 yards, stroke index five. But Kirk goes on to say, the remarkable mystic rock, a dream of our founder, Joseph Hardy, and the vision of design master, Pete Dye, resulted in one of the country's finest golf courses. High atop the Pennsylvania Allegheny Mountains, mystic rock spans acres of scenic highlands, offering players championship golf in a spectacular setting. So just looking to get this tee shot right down the centre of the fairway. We are probably going to kick slightly to the left here. But that should really open up our line of vision into the second green. But I can't recall the last time I played 1-1-9 one, one, greens. 160 yards, 8 yards out. We're just clubbing down to the 8 iron here, looking to run this on from the fairway. That slope's going to take us to the left, as is the wind. Oh, it's a laser beam. How on earth is that going so far left? We're probably going to miss the green here. This looks like it's going to hold up in the, the side slope. That, that slope at our feet, which was green, must have been a little bit more severe. Than the information relayed to me. But we're four yards off from the pin. I'm looking to just putt this from here. 12 foot putt. It is going to break quite, quite extreme to the right. It's going to be hard to gauge this with a 119 greens. I've totally under hit that. Wow, that was uh, really, really poor from me. Very under hit, and that's going to leave us with a five footer. A little tricky five footer, which does turn, and we do pick up the first part of the round. So let's move on to hole number three, which looks like is going to be the first of the par threes. It's a long par three, playing 231 yards, stroke index one. But a par 72 course layout, the course has a rating of 77 and slope rating of 149 from the championship tees. One of the highest ratings in the country. So why? We're going to have to look out for that. But two iron for me on these uh, normal to slow greens should hold up. We've just put a little bit of loft here. This club is now so tough to hit with that loft. And as you can see, it's a bit of a squiggly line and it looks like it's going hard right. That's never going to come back towards the pin. It may just hold the green. 
But this used to be former home to the 84 Lumber Classic, a PG Tour event. Mystic Rock has played host to some of the world's top professionals. So great information about the course. Like I say, this is an RCR. Tough putt here, 27 feet, one foot uphill. Should really start to turn. It does. And what a putt that is to salvage the birdie. And we do move to two under par through the first three holes. But why, what a putt that was. Long may that continue. Hole number four, beautiful looking short par four. Playing 385 yards, stroke index 11. Lovely little pond there on the left hand side. But what a spectacular looking course this is. I can't believe I missed this. This course was released at the start of 2019. I think we have played one or two of Kurt's previous courses. I think one of them being a Medina. The fairway is going to kick to the left here. So setting this down the right hand side of the fairway. Beautiful swing light. This is going to kick hard left by the looks of it. There we go. Didn't want to be too far left there and be obscured by the tree line. And it looks like we have but it's going to be a short approach shot here. Nothing more than a lob wedge. 98 yards down two feet. So let's say it's playing 97 yards to the pin. 98 if we're going to incorporate the wind. So just deal off in this lob wedge. We are on a slight slope that should add a yard or two. To the ball and this one is going to move to the left also we are really swinging well here so far that is attacking the pin beautifully it should turn to the right just like that and once again we've got a, a birdie opportunity from about five feet out just going left edge here and that does turn into the heart of the cup for birdie number three so great start to this round. Okay. Hole number five, long par five, playing 599 yards. Stroke index 17, making it the second easiest hole on the course. Whatever you guys are planning for this uh, New Year's Eve, I hope you are with your loved ones, the ones who have stuck with you through thick and thin. I know I will be. But look at that waterfall flowing into this... Uh, lake here or creek absolutely stunning looking course guys a lot of attention to detail as went into this just look at this set this down the left center of the fairway and hopefully the wind and the slope will take us back round and we do have a makeable shot into the green what we'll to try and eliminate this water we will be dicing with the water on the left hand side, but we should not be coming directly over the top of it. Just give me a seven iron. Two would may just kick on to the fringe here, depending on the, the run we get from the fairway, but the fairways are normal as well. I think we'll just come up short here. It's another good strike. Depending on the kind of kick we get here. Yeah, we're just going to come up short. It's probably going to be a little flop shot that hopefully we can execute well. But I do hope you guys are enjoying the new, uh, better quality of video I am releasing. It should be in 1080p for all of you guys that do have access to that. I know my current mobile phone doesn't go higher than 720, uh, 60 frames per second. So I had to watch the... The latest video, just to make sure on my son's phone, he's got a, a better quality phone than me, as you would expect. And we do tap that in for the birdie, and we move to four under par. Hole number six, par four, playing 410 yards, stroke index 13. But wow, I am blown away by the, the layout and quality of this course. The harvest theme is absolutely stunning. Really suits the course, this. Really enjoying it. I don't think I could have picked a better round or course for a round for the final round of 2019. 
Don't like how the club's coming back here. Oh, pushed that one right. So far, so good for this one. Plenty of fairway to work with, though. And that one does kick back to the left. It's going to leave us a little wedge shot once again into the green. 110 yards out, up 8 feet. I'm going to say it's playing 113. Let's say 115 yards with that wind in my face. So just deal off in the sandwich. Ball's going to move to the left at our feet. So just sending this down the right with the flag stick here. Hopefully our yardage is good. Push that one slightly to the right. But it's bang on track. And once again, we're going to have a little tap in birdie opportunity. Very little movement in this one. But these greens can catch you out. These 119 greens, they're very, very slow. But we are five under as we do progress to hole number seven, which is another par three, playing 223 yard stroke index nine. This looks another tough par three. Some of the pin positions here are very challenging on pin set number one, just due, I know we've not made it look like that, we're playing well, but due to the, the layout and the way the greens has been designed and contoured. So I'm hoping this hybrid sits down really quickly for me. Oh, it's a wonky swing line, that's going to go left and I think it may stay left. It does kick on to the green, but we are going to have a bit of work to do for birdie here. Probably about 20 feet. Right, we're about 17, feet. 17 feet. Not too much movement in this, but these are the kind of putts I don't really like. They really don't move like that. Well, it did actually move. I just didn't hit it. It really turned back the okay. last 34 feet. But there we go, guys. That 119 greens are going to catch you out at some point if you're not used to them. I'm certainly not used to them. But we do pick up par number two. And we move on to hole number eight, which is another par five, playing 550 yards stroke index 15. Huge bunker down the left-hand side there. Quite a tight fairway, this one. This is a course that I have heard of, heard of prior to my round here. And do my division. It is a public course. No longer featured on the PGA Tour. Which is a shame because if it looked as good as this. And played as good as this. The PGA should be all over it like a rash to host competitions. Nice. Like I say the... The Lumber Classic is now defunct. I think we're going to have to come down to the two iron here. Fully deal off in this. We've got a six mile per hour wind that should take us around. Just looking to kick this on from the light rough for fairway. We've hit that clean. This is tracking well. This should actually bounce on from the fairway. And that should set us up for an eagle opportunity if it keeps going. Slows up fairly quickly. On these medium, firmness greens and slow speeds. But first eagle opportunity off the round. It's going to turn to the left. Oh, that turned a lot more than what I expected. Wow, I really got caught out there. There you go. That's slightly different to what I was given there. So like I said, I think it's a previous video or the video before. I didn't take my own advice. Let that green render for 10 to 15 seconds. But my score doesn't matter to me, guys. I'm just trying to showcase these courses for you. But hole number four. Uh, hole number nine, par four, long par four, playing 580 yards, stroke index three. Beautiful pond up the left-hand side there. Really like the pond with the rocks around. Once again, that is going to be a tough pin position. Don't want to be short of that slope that's protecting that pin. Nice. Good tee shot. But this truly is a stunning looking course. Plays as good as it looks. 
And I don't know what it is. I'm feeling so, so relaxed here playing this round. I do love to play this game when I'm in this state of mind. Just relaxed. Not a care in the world. Oh, like I say, I'm in between clubs here. You're either going to take the risk of being short here and being rewarded with being bang on, or you're going to be long. But I'm a, a precise player, so I'm trying to take the risk here, try to kick this on from that slope. I don't think it's got the legs to get up, you know. That's going to come all the way back down. How far back down is it going to come? That is the question. And we are going to have a tough uphill putt here right, for our birdie. 30 feet, from the hole, so have fun with this. 30 feet up two feet. Break into the left. I just want to get this up close to the pin. Tell you something. Oh, it was a good attempt. Happy with that. That's tough putts on these greens when you're not used to them. And we do walk away with a par there. So solid front nine there, guys. We are six under. As we do move on to the first hole off the back nine and it is hole number 10 par 4 playing 448 yards and once again look at the beauty of this hole here wow that water that's coming in with the rocks just totally makes this course look something i don't know out of a film set it's absolutely stunning and the fact that this is a real course makes it that little bit sweeter i'm sure this is on a few golfers bucket list to play. Look at that views to your right. Wow. Push that one slightly to the right here. This one looks pretty safe. Could be in the rough unless we get a kick left. We do get that kick left. And that kicks us all the way back to the left hand side of the fairway and we've really opened up that green now. So 144 yards down for the feet once again. Mm, no, I've learned from the previous hole. Look at that overhead shot of the, the hole. I'm going to loft up this one. We may be a little bit long here, guys, but I would rather be a little bit longer than short and leave myself an uphill putt on these greens. I tell you something, once again, that is going to go too far left. My swing line was good there. I think that's the second time. That the game's telling us is a green grid. It's taking us to the left, which means it shouldn't move us too, too severely. But it turns out it is. Just got to take that on the chin and pay more attention to the actual slope rather than the green grid. I've got no excuse as that putt comes up short because I do tend to play with the, the, the lie grid off. I think I said green grid there. But we do walk away with a par there and remain at six under par. Hole number 11 is going to be a par five. It's a monster par five playing 682 yards. But bizarrely enough, it is the easiest hole in the course coming in at stroke index 18. But wow, I am just blown away with this course, guys. The sheer beauty of it. We have been so fortunate to play some fantastic courses in 2019. This game that has been abandoned by its developers, HB Studios, is being kept alive by you, the community, and mainly the talented course designers that we do have out there making these courses for our enjoyment. But nice swing there, right down the centre of the fairway. I don't think we're going to reach this in two. Just looking to chase this two wood. Water is in play to the right here. Now see what I mean about the, the lie grid there? It was green. That means your ball shouldn't move too severely. But it is going to move to the right. Combined with the wind. It's another good strike. And that has been placed perfectly right into the centre of the fairway. I imagine we're going to have lob wedge. Or at worst, some wedge into this green. It is lob wedge. Bang on club here. 
the wind should move us slightly to the right. That should be a pin seeker. This actually could go in if it doesn't sit down too quick. Oh, checks up really, really quickly there. These greens are really receptible. Is that a word? I think it's a word. What I mean is they're, they're, they're stopping really quickly on the green. And we do pick up another birdie there as we move on to hole number 12. And what a stunning looking par 3 this is. Coming in at 185 yards, stroke index 2. Look at that water, man. It's right in play here. Wow. Don't want to be short. That 5 mile per hour wind should have enough just to move us. 185 yards down 10 feet. I'm just going to loft this up and try to land this right on the fringe of this green here, just to get this sitting down quickly. Wind is picking up here, the back night. Oh, it's a bit of a dirty swing. The wind is bringing us round, though. We are going to be more left than I would have liked. Yardage was good. Yardage was very good, actually. We are going to have a putt for birdie. Here we go. Drop this one for birdie. A 12-footer. Minimal break here. It's going... Left of that flag stick. Should hold its line. It does hold its line and we are rewarded with the birdie. I think that's birdie number 8. As we do move on to hole number 13. Par 4 playing 429 yards. Stroke in next 14. It's been a while since I've played a harvest theme course. As I just finish off my uh, cold coffee there. Well positioned bunker there. Look at it. Poor swing light. Or the wind going against you. That bunker's banging plate. That was exceptional. Perfect swing there. I'm hoping this kicks slightly to the right. It kicked to the left. I wonder if that tree line's gonna be in our way here. Hopefully not. Looks like, uh, I'd say nope. Nowhere need it. 112 yards up 4 feet. Just going to deal off the Sam Wedge 2 touches. Looking to bounce this. Probably about 4 yards short of the flag stick. Get a nice favourable bounce. Swinging well now. Got the groove on. We're bang on it. There we go. And we are throwing some arrows. And I mean arrows at these pins. Most of our wedge play, our putts have been anywhere from 2 to 5 feet. And we are being rewarded with favourable green breaks. Hole number 14, par 4, playing 469 yards, stroke index 12. Huge fairway bunker down the right hand side. Fairway narrows there. It's such a natural course, guys. It really, really is. Very natural, very beautiful, rustic. Got to be careful with his tee shot due to the way... Oh, that's a nasty swing line. And the reason I said, just due to the way that the fairway cuts in there with the rough. But fortunately... Due to that wind, we weren't getting up there. 165 yards, up 6 feet. 3 mile per hour wind. That slope at our feet is going to take us to the left very slightly. I like the look of this. I like the look of this. Does it have the legs? It should have the legs. Once again, a little bit left. But lie at our feet catching us out once again. We've got a 14 foot putt. Up 3 inches. This one is going to turn to the right. That looks good if it holds its line. It does hold its line right into the heart of the cup. And I think we are now 9 under par. 10 under par. Do myself a, a miss service there. 4 consecutive birdies. Hole number 15. Par 4 playing 463 yards. Stroke index 10. But why, man, how beautiful is this course? 
absolutely stunning. And I do hope the 1080p, if you are able to watch it in that, does it the justice it deserves. 463 yards down, 20, uh, 463 yards, 24 feet down. Once again, it should be a good tee shot and then a wedge. This is looking pretty good. This should kick to the, the right here. Once again, though, we are going to be playing off a, a bit of a slope. Got, didn't get anywhere near the distance I expected. I expected that to be a, a wedge up worse, 9 iron. We're coming down to the 8 iron. But look at the slopes and the, the hills. Pure Pete Dye esque. Protecting these pins and greens. That's a good strike. Tell you something, this could be half decent. Get up that slope and turn towards the pin, like you suggested. It's not bad. We do have a 16 foot birdie opportunity. Uphill. This is going to turn to the left quite aggressively the first 4 or 5 feet. Oh, and that has been drilled into the heart of the cup. I'm quite happy with um, how I've dealt with these slow greens. I do normally struggle on the slower speed greens. I think we've only under hit 1 or 2 putts. But hole number 16, why wow, look at this. Par 5, playing 533 yards, stroking next 16. How is that for a postcard pitcher, man? Absolutely stunning. It would be a sin to skip any of these flyovers, you know. Absolutely stunning looking course. I'd like to think we could uh, try and get eagle here. We'll certainly reach this green in two. Or should I say, let me rephrase that. Look at the way that sun's glaring right into the camera lens. Stunning. We should be able to reach it in two. Whether or not I do land it on the greens, another question. Had a few dodgy swing lines today. Okay, looks like we are about but two iron, maybe too much club here. I'm looking to kick this on with hybrid. Just going to severely deal off this. That slope's going to take us to the right. That four mile per hour wind should also as well. But we're dicing. With the water here, that wind keeps changing on me. Should be enough turn on the ball here just to kick this on from the fairway or the front of the, the fringe. It's a nice strike. Has it got the legs to kick on to the green? It should have. Go on, get up there. Get up there. Just dying to death on these greens, but we are going to have an uphill putt for the eagle. 20 feet up 5 inches. Very little in this. I'm just playing it. Oh, it has turned. Oh, and we just miss out on the eagle. Wow. Gutted with that. I would really have loved eagle there. But we do pick up the birdie and we do move to 12 under par. So let's move on to hole number 17, the penultimate hole of this outstanding golf course. For those of you who are the younger generation, penultimate means second last. So don't say this channel isn't educational. But hole number 17, par 3 playing 202 yards, stroke index 4. The par 3s have been beautiful, but also very, very tough. One due to the layout and two the, the pin position. Just going to try and fizz this 5 iron in and let the, the contours of the green hopefully take that round towards the pin. I've pushed it. That may miss the green. Oh, it is going to miss the green. Horrible swing. Horrible swing. Just avoid that little uh, pot bunker. We're going to have a chip shot from 12 yards. Can just loft this up a little bit and try and attack this. Oh, it's a wonky swing line. Again, it goes left. That's actually travelled on a fair bit. But a six foot putt for the par save, it looks straightforward. It is straightforward. And we do move on to the final hole of 2019, guys. I can't thank you all enough for the support. 2019 has been quite a difficult year for my family and myself. Uh, I've been fighting so many personal battles this year. But uh, we got through it. 
and I'm going to continue to fight. And uh, a huge thank you to everyone that supports the channel. At times when I am at my low points, you guys do keep me going with uh, watching, commenting and clicking that like button. But I do hope 2020 is a fantastic year for yourselves and your families. But hole number 18, par 4, playing 480 yards, stroke index 6. Tight fairway here, which does look like it's going to kick to the right. Decent swing line. That wind's really pushing us more to the right than I expected, actually. But beautiful overhead shot. The fairway didn't kick as far right as I expected it to. And we're going to have a 7 iron. Let's see if we can birdie the final hole of 2019 and go out with a bang. Trying to use that slope green to our advantage. Slope is going to move us to the right. Tell you something, this is right at it. Despite a wonky swing line, that could go in. Have we eagled it? Oh, we were so unlucky. But absolutely delighted we're going to walk away with birdie and finish at 13 under par. I think that's going to be a 59 here. What a way to finish the year. But there you go, guys. A 59, 13 under par. What a fantastic course that is. That will definitely be getting a favourite and a five star. But that is it for today's video, guys. Like I say, all the best for 2020. I will see you guys in the new year. If you did enjoy today's video, please spam the like button. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more golfing content. Until then, take care, peace out, and love you all.